Hey, it's Clay, how are you guys doing? This is gonna be a quick, short little video, just kind of a tip for those do-it-yourselfers out there who solder your own guitars. Uh, and that tip is how to get a more secure soldering connection so that you only have to do it once and you don't have to worry about joints that aren't working very well and have to mess it up again in the future. And that is, the basic idea is that before you solder, you wanna get a mechanical connection going. So what do I mean by that? Well, this is a DiMarzio pickup with some short wires, and uh, I needed to get some extensions on there. So, as you can see, uh, I've got these extra wires going on here, and I don't, I don't know if this is going to pick up or not. But what I've done is I've actually twisted the two wires together like a twist tie. Um, so to put it another way, I'm not just laying them on top of one another and then soldering. I'm actually twisting them together so that as it is right now, this would pass signal. Uh, these, these two wires here would, in fact, pass a signal, and there's no solder on there whatsoever. Also, if you're, same idea, if you're putting something into one of these little, let's see how if I can show this one off right here. Sorry for the... So what I actually did there is I looped, you've got these little eyelet holes, I looped the wire through there and then I took it all the way back around and then I soldered it back to itself so that there's a circle there and that the, the tie, the connection on the, the switch, all that's doing is acting as a, as a median point but the wire is actually being turned around and soldered into itself. So with both of those situations, with all the joints that you solder, you want to try and make sure you get a mechanical connection going. That means that the wires are firmly held together just mechanically with, with the physical force of how you insert them into one another. And then the solder simply acts as a way to kind of more permanently keep that joined together um, so you prevent it from moving away. The solder itself is not responsible for establishing the connection and keeping it. All the solder is doing is keeping the connection you've already made um, more permanent. So, just a quick little tip there to improve your soldering to get more long-lasting connections. Start off with a solid mechanical connection and then the solder is really just uh, a vehicle for making it more permanent, not a vehicle for actually getting the circuit to flow. So, hope you enjoy that. Let me know your thoughts down below and I'll see you soon. Bye.